Hi, I'm Ben Wadilla. Today on Saturday Mechanic, we're going to change the flex disc on this old Mercedes. All right, Pat, we're down here in Baltimore at Orem's Garage because you sent us a bunch of comments and, and actually an email. Uh, Quite a few. Uh, with <laughs> with uh, some of your problems. And one of them was actually this piece right here. It's called a flex disc. So that's what that is. Yeah, exactly. Okay. This is, it, it lives in your drive line uh, between the drive shaft and the differential. And its job is to absorb what's called drive line shock. Every time you press the accelerator, the, a bunch of torque comes down this tube and goes into here. But in order to smooth things out, this piece of rubber is in here, and that's its job is to absorb some of that some of that shock from the engine. So okay. that's what makes it a Mercedes, right? I was going to say, what would make me know that there's a problem with that? Well, um, this one, you, if you actually inspect it closely, you see that there's a crack in there. The, the rubber started to degrade. Oh, yeah, okay. um, but that's probably hard to feel even at this point. Um, what you're going to feel as it gets worse, though, is as you step on the accelerator, you'll feel a, a chunk almost. Uh, I have felt that. Okay, well, mm -hmm. maybe it's worse than maybe it it's looks. it's time. Yeah. Okay. So it should be a relatively easy job. We'll uh, pull these bolts out, slide the old disc down, put a new one in, bolt everything back together. It should be good as new. Perfect. Well, thanks again. I really appreciate you guys answering my comments on my emails because I this is perfect having this <laughs> stuff done. All right. Well, uh, we'll get right to it. Thank you. All right. All right, so since the drive line hasn't been uh, giving her any vibration, we're going to mark the drive shaft and this piece here on the front of the differential so that when we put it all back together, it all goes back the same way and you don't get any new vibrations. I'm just going to use one of these big crayons to do that. I'm going to mark on the drive shaft and here on the front of the differential. And uh, since we're at a shop, I'm going to cheat and use some air tools. This will make this a lot, lot quicker. So, I'm going to throw this box wrench on this side, and hit air wrench here. There we go. There's one. And we'll do that for the rest of them. We've got the car in neutral so we can rotate this drive shaft around and make it easier to get to everything. There we go, like a man. Now pay attention, these washers sit on this side of the bushing, so remember to put that kind of stuff back in and you reassemble. Ah! Woo! This will be our last one. There we go. Now, let's see if this thing comes out very easily. Oh, there we go. Bushings are actually seated inside of this, so you gotta pop them out. There we go. It's coming. There we go. All right. So then we got that half off, and we can pry from the other side. Ah. There's one. There's two. No. Oh. Oh. There it is. That was much more of a fight than I thought it would be. But now that it's out, we can. I think it'll probably make sense to clean out these holes so we can get the old, new one to mount up nice and uh, put that back in. All right, so now that we've got it off, we can see that there are quite a few more cracks than I could initially see. You can see them out here, right, in this section, and here, little, little cracks that are starting to form. You can see them more on this side, too. This is a good one. So as this thing is going to wear, it'll start opening up, and things will start to jiggle around in there as this rubber continues to degrade. That's why we got to replace it. All right, so I'm going to grab this wire brush and clean out these, these holes a little bit. The, uh, the rust that was in there that formed, that's what made it such a fight to get those out. And uh, I don't want to fight to get them back in, so we're going to clean this up a little bit. 
both sides. Just want to get into the nooks and crannies as best as you can. And get this one. Just giving it a cursory cleanup. Hopefully we don't have to fight that one this time. So here's a new piece. We'll throw that one on there. Where'd my mark go? Hope I didn't move that. All right. All cars have a version of this. All right. So now we're going to grab the big lever and uh, get this back into place. Careful. Hold on, I need to reposition here. There we go. Make sure we get it lined up right. Just like that. And now we can put our bolts back in. So we got uh, some new bolts here that are blue. And uh, let's make sure everything fits. That seems good. This is uh, apparently a new design for this car. Don't quite match the old versions, but this is what came from the factory. Let's see, I think that's it. Get some washers on there, just like we had them on before, on the rubber side, just like that. And washer. And one more washer. Thank you, sir. And throw some nuts on there. Always hand start them. Always, always. We'll tighten these up first and then torque them down. So instead of the uh, the impact gun, we're going to use this air ratchet. It's less torque, and we want to we don't want to blast anything on there quite yet. All right, and this one over here. All right, other than torquing it down, we're pretty much done here. If you have any questions about what you've seen today, feel free to leave them in the comment section below.